So now the first thread pool executor that we look into is the fixed thread pool. So what it does is you can use it to assign fixed amount of worker threads for you. So you know during the creation you specify the number of worker threads that you need for your tasks. So for example to execute 100 tasks you need let's say 4 worker threads. So you need to pass 4 as a parameter and it will give you a fixed amount of threads. Now you know if a task is submitted to the pool and there is an ideal thread available when you submit a task then that ideal thread will be assigned to execute your assigned activity. And uh, when you submit a task let's say there is no idle threads available so your task will be put in the queue it will wait for any worker to be available and then the available worker will pick up the task from the queue it will execute and then if the worker is free then it will be assigned back to the pool and it will be available for the next activities to complete if all workers are busy worker threads are busy then your task would be put into the queue and then as soon as the worker finishes, um, it will be assigned back to the pool or it will pick up the another task that is available. Now one important thing to remember is that the size of the pool remains fixed throughout the life cycle. So it doesn't change. And again, like I explained to you before, so once the activity is completed, the executor need to be shut down. So what I'll do is uh, I'll create an example for fixed thread pool and I'll name it as fixed thread pool ex and uh, this class implements runnable uh, so that you know we can submit this uh, instance of this class directly to the thread pool and uh, because it implements runnable so let's also implement uh, the method run and uh, before that um, you know we need to uniquely identify our um, tasks or activities so for that we'll create one uh, private variable called task id so let's create private int task id and uh, we'll create a constructor also so uh, we'll just generate that and uh, now we are inside our run so what we will say is you know the task id inside what worker what thread it is executing right so we are saying that task id and um, is running in the thread and then i'm saying dot format a task id and the uh, thread dot current thread dot get name so that will give me the current thread i'll just uh, add thread dot sleep maybe three seconds or something and it is throwing exception so i'll cover it up inside the try catch block let me just clear my concept okay and uh, so now it's time to test the example so i'll uh, again write psvm publish static void main i'll uh, say executors uh, executor service and I'll call it as executor equal to um, you know uh, executors dot fixed thread pool uh, so I'll say new fixed thread pool and uh, let's say I want three workers to address my tasks so I assign three here and now I should submit the tasks right so i can just submit new instance of the fixed thread pool to this executor so i'll just create a for loop and um, i'll assign around 10 threads or th 10 tasks to this thread pool so um, let's say you know new fixed thread pool and i say i so that is just to uniquely identify my tasks and then I'll submit this to executor.submit right so um, I'll do that and uh, 
and uh, we always need to make sure that we are setting down our executor gracefully so uh, i'll do that executor dot shutdown and then now let's run and see how these three workers takes care of my 10 tasks right so so now i'll uh, run the example and see what happens so uh, y you can see that it is executing three uh, tasks in a batch because there are just three workers available and i have 10 tasks to address right task 0 to task 9 so i hope this gives you a clear picture of how you can create fixed amount of workers using the fixed thread pool so that is all as part of this example i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next video you can put your questions in the comments below